clients are always looking for cost efficiency, and they're, they're, uh, our clients are no different than anybody else. They've, they have budgets, they've built businesses, and they've been successful uh, because they don't waste a lot of money. So the need to build efficiency in the services that we deliver uh, is part of the fabric, and that's part of also in the, the Calgary legal community, again, a reflection of our clients. Our clients don't typically have a lot of patience for grandstanding or chest beating or wasting time or wasting money because they have a deal that they want to get done and they want to get done now because in their mind every day that they're not working they're losing money. So that's the type of ethic and our clients demand it. Our clients demand that we, we work efficiently and that we work uh, properly in order to get a, a good deal and get the proper deal and protect them, but not in a way that's frivolous or wasteful or anything. Well, I, I articled with Burnett Duckworth, and I was, when I was uh, going through the articling process, it was through the match process, which was uh, a little bit interesting to uh, go into a bit of the unknown. I just was very fortunate in that my first interview was with uh, Burnett Duckworth, and after about five minutes, I knew exactly where I was meant to be and where I was supposed to work. And Fortunately for me, that all worked out uh, during the articling process, and um, after that, it's been uh, that's been a bit of a theme actually for my entire career. Starting articling, I went through to work in uh, different areas and different rotations, and started working with people that just felt really natural and great people to be around, doing work that I thought was very exciting, although I didn't really understand most of what I was doing at the time, and it just seemed like a very natural fit for me to uh, to end up where I am today. And that's just been basically the whole career from there. Uh, my community involvement, pro bono involvement, is, is very important, obviously. I'm, in, I'm involved in several different activities and boards. And for myself, it's things that are, are near and dear to me. For example, helping out with uh, Missing Children's Society of Canada. I'm a father of three young children. And when the opportunity was presented to me, it, and I looked at what the... Uh, um, the society was doing and put myself in a position of a parent who had lost their children I was it was an instant automatic um, helping out with things like minor hockey I grew up playing minor hockey so it's it's something that it's 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 near and dear to your heart it's got to be something that you for me it's something I believe in um, it's a, I find it also great to be around the people that are involved because they are all very passionate people very diverse backgrounds which is which is great and as a professional, it's an obligation, I think, that we have uh, to give back. And that's something that uh, talking about working at Burnett Duckworth is one of the absolute fundamental tenets that we have. And it all starts with, with Mr. Jim Palmer. Um, he is an absolute leader in the community for community involvement. And it's, he sets the bar that we all strive to and, and the example that we all try to follow. And it is the, the message and the culture, it's very difficult to explain, but the culture that we've created is that this is a responsibility that we have. Um, and I've taken that on personally. I believe it is a responsibility and I have, and it's something that, uh, that we, we do to, to give back um, because we are very fortunate to be where we are, um, not just in our profession, but in our country and in our city. And it's too easy to sort of take that for granted.